Hi there, this is a short video showing you some wet into wet techniques that I sometimes use for skies and vegetation. I spray my paper and also my palette so the paint is ready to use and activate it. And then I go into the blue to violet spectrum and a bit of Naples yellow with a really, really big brush. And overall it's more blue than everything else but all the other colors in there make for a very vivid gray. Generally it's not a good idea to use diluted black as gray but use every color you can think of and in the end that will turn out as gray. Uh, I, would, I like to use um, blue with a bit of dull yellow that makes for the greatest gray I think. I'm working with a paper stretcher to keep my paper from, um, from warping and bending. And now I'm done with the big brush. And I'm using a tissue to, uh, to dab out the clouds again so the white of the paper shows. Now while this is still um, wet, not absolutely soaking wet but still glistening as you can see in the in the uh, in the sky there um, I paint on the next layer of sky a bit more blue in there and spraying it again to make sure it dissolves nicely it looks a bit chaotic right now but when it's dry it will even out very nicely And the paper is still glistening and that's important because now I'm going to turn to the trees here with uh, all sorts of orange and again Naples yellow so warm tones that I just very carelessly really drop into uh, the blue of the sky. It dissolves and um, there's no stark edge just a very soft effect of far away uh, leaves in the background. Until a couple of years ago I used to paint everything very exactly and uh, at some point I realized that I might just uh, take over a couple of techniques from more um, traditional watercolor painters and make some more use of the wet into wet technique. When I started out I really did something like cell shading with watercolor which was very weird but uh, that got me started and it took me a couple of years to shake that off. So here I'm using different um, uh, warm tones, some a bit more yellow, some a bit more um, red. So overall I mean, there's a bit of variation in the trees there. There's a couple of um, spots, especially um, in, the, in the left tree, where the paint is already a bit drier. Now I'm doing the background. This is not a full uh, video t tutorial of, um, of the whole picture because my camera left me at some point in between but here is a very very fast run through of what I'm doing with the background. A bit of dabbing where it got too dark. And here I'm back with the trees. Um, this is dry now, so I'm now working um, wet onto dry. You can see that nothing dissolves and all the little um, uh, spots that I paint there just stay where they are and stay put. Um, I just drop in a couple of shades to add some mass to the leaves and to gather them into clumps as it were. You can see that quite well here. Again, I vary um, the colors still across the warm spectrum, but with all sorts of reds and oranges and yellows, but a bit more on the, on the red side. Speeding it up so you don't have to see me painting every single leaf, which I don't do here any anyway. And a bit of work on the tree trunks. Otherwise, they would just stand out too much. 
And here's the finished painting with our nicely fuzzy trees in the background, not taking away from the foreground figure.